Hey everyone, I'm Nick, the community manager of Pixel Games, and this is the Monthly Dev Breakdown, the monthly series where we summarise what we've been up to as fast as possible. Keep in mind that this is all a work in progress and not the final product. So once again, let's get started with the arcade. We focused on arcade items this month, and there's so many to show off, such as <clears throat> motor scooter, toy robot, pedal rocket, whoopee cushion, disco ball, RC drone, RC tank, pogo stick, voyager, tricycle, skateboard, handheld fan, stealth box, paper airplanes, boomerang, glow sticks, spinning tops, and all this other stuff. When you walk up to an arcade machine, you'll be able to find out how to play and the controls just by pressing shift and E. We've made badges and over 50 achievements for the arcade. Here's a cat plushie. Shh. Sleeping. We've tweaked the hot buy UI for condos and plazas with small icons below category names so you can find what you need faster. Moving on, we have a new mini golf map in the works called Island, based on the original sandbar map from GMT. We're also giving the waterhole and forest maps a fresh coat of paint. Here's some cooking items. There's a lot. You'll soon be able to change the text hat's colour. You'll also be able to change the upcoming vehicle colours right from the hotbar. We're hard at work updating the entire game's engine to run smoother. Networking under load is far smoother now, meaning more players can play in one server with less stutter. We've also optimised the plaza a lot, which makes the game easier on your CPU and should improve your FPS. In the future, you'll always see people's names above them. If someone says something, you'll see it above their head. Also, if a player starts driving an RC vehicle, you'll see an icon above their head to indicate it. The Tower United merch store is finally open. We have everything from shirts to mugs to hoodies, with cat sacks, logos and other cool designs. Check it out at the link in the description. Keep in mind that we're still working on the arcade behind the scenes. There's up to 40 machines in development, and each one needs code, networking, music, sound effects, art, modelling, playtesting, etc. So stay tuned to our forums, Discord and Twitter for more arcade details in the future. But for now, thank you for watching, 